My name is Cody Wilkins. I'm a professional trail builder. We're here in Barsness Park in Minnesota on the shores of Lake Minnewaska in the town of Glenwood. About 14 years ago, Minnesota implemented the legacy tax, uh, and they essentially provide grants for arts and culture, fish and wildlife, and parks and trails. Uh, Glenwood, Minnesota received one of those grants about a year and a half ago to build six to eight miles of bike trails in their local park. When the project in Barsness Park came up to bid, I saw it as a good opportunity to kind of come back to my roots uh, on my mom's side of the family spend some time on the local family farm and you know put a bit on this project because I, I really wanted to be part of this community. I, I spent a lot of time here in the summer growing up and in the winter and you know biking running a trail company it's it's what I know it's what I truly care about and so when the opportunity came to provide trails for a community such as this that I do have roots in I, I put a bit in and ended up winning the project. So Barsness Park used to have uh, one of the staple ski jumps in the country. Structure on top of the hill uh, overlooking the lake. And from 1912 to 1962, they had this big ski jump in town. In 1916, they actually hosted the National Ski Jump Championships. After the structure was taken down in the 60s, after a windstorm, uh, they opened up the ski hill with a T-bar for just a community, community ski hill essentially. And my aunts and uncles and my grandma and grandpa all skied there throughout the 70s and 80s. Unfortunately, the ski hill shut down about two decades ago. I think that the ties between biking and skiing are so close and over the last few years, we've really seen them merge together. And these new trails that we've put in just tie right into the history of this park. And so we're looking you know, realistically, we're coming on 120 years of, of really great outdoor recreation in a community of 2,500, which is just amazing to see. We've built a pretty wide variety of trails here. We retouched a bunch of their old cross-country trails, um, which were already pretty good. So one side of the park kind of has this really cool feeling of being kind of out in the woods, away from everything, away from the road. And then on the other side of the park, we were able to put in a ton of berms and rollers and little jumps, which has been awesome because we're just finishing up and already we've seen a bunch of neighborhood kids almost every single day, like showing up and doing lap after lap after lap on these like kind of progressive technical trails. The major goal of these public projects is to get people out on bikes, whether that's existing riders or new riders. And we realized biking's not cheap. Bikes are super expensive. So we partnered with Jake's Bikes up in Alexandria and we ended up buying four bikes ranging from 20 inch up to 29 inch. So anybody can get out there and ride along with six different sizes of helmets. And if you wanna try biking, all you have to do is stop in, grab a bike and take it out in the park. There's no cost, there's no limit on how many times you can take it out. And the whole idea is that everybody should be able to try biking. Everybody should be able to at least get out in their community and give it a shot. One of the things that's really awesome for me is to be out riding these trails we just built and knowing that just down the hill, like my mom learned to ski. So it's like this this thing that comes full circle of like of like you know, two generations enjoying the same park for different reasons, but ultimately the core reason is the same.